Expedition 26, Commander Scott Kelly, welcome home. 159 days in space, quite an expedition. Uh, what were your thoughts as you undocked today and uh, the Soyuz backed away from the station that had been your home for almost six months? Well, you know, I kind of, I guess I reflected on you know, how much work we did and how much we accomplished and thought that, uh, you know, it's such an amazing uh, research facility that we've built. And, so, so impressive that as, as human beings we were able to uh, accomplish something like that, building that and using it. And it's a place I'm going to miss. I certainly uh, look forward and looked forward to getting back to Earth and you know, I have a lot more things I, I, I look forward to, but uh, I'll definitely miss the space station. Maybe I'll get to go back to the the, um, the impressions you had as you left the station, what was entry like? Your first impressions as they opened the hatch, it looked like a scene out of the North Pole. Well, entry was, you know, I've heard so much about how the Soyuz entry is kind of, uh, you know, a little on the rough side. So it was um, sort of what I expected which is a series of explosions followed by a car crash. And uh, and then when the hatch opened, it's just quite refreshing to get that uh, cold air and, uh, you know, snow blown inside the capsule. It was uh, it was uh, definitely a uh, one, once-in-a-lifetime experience. You're fresh out of your mission here, but... In reflection, what do you consider to be the major accomplishment of your expedition? There was so much to choose from. You know, that's really hard to say because because we we did so much. You know, there were so many visiting vehicles. There was uh, you know a lot of maintenance done on certain systems of the space station that I was involved in. Certainly, a lot of science was done. Um, I think. It's really hard to say there's one major accomplishment. I think it's really the accomplishment of the whole team in putting such a complicated uh, plan together and, uh, and executing it. And uh, I guess that's what I'm most proud of. Scott, it goes without saying that the, uh, the wounding of your sister-in-law in January represented the test of a lifetime for you in orbit. Uh, and obviously for your brother, how difficult a period of time was that for you uh, as basically being in orbit, unable to lend uh, hands-on assistance to your brother at a time of crisis like that? Well, you know, it, it certainly was difficult. Now, you know, having said that, it was, you know, something that both Mark and I are, you know, kind of trained to deal with as military pilots, you know, just putting your, uh, you know, personal issues aside and focusing on what your job is, so... Although I would have preferred to be able to, you know, help him in person and, uh, you know, assist as, as best I could, I, uh, you know, recognized that my place was on the space station and, uh, you know, just focused on my work. And I called him and my kids as much as I could and other, you know, friends and family as much as I could to try to support them. And, you know, there's not a whole lot of support you can provide uh, in space other than, you know, just emotional on the, on the phone. But I tried to do that as best I could. The reports on her recovery are so encouraging. What are you looking forward to the most uh, when you get reunited with your brother? Um, no, just seeing him and talking to him and seeing how he's doing and, you know, talking in person versus uh, a uh, cell phone with or a satellite phone with very sporadic uh, coverage that you're always waiting for the, uh, the uh, you know, when the, the satellite passes over. So that, that'll be nice. Scott, a final question. Your, your expedition was so much triumph, tinged with the tragedy. Uh, for you when, you, when you think you'll have time to reflect on it all, what do you think the highs and lows will be for you? Well, certainly the low is when uh, Gabby was shot along with all those, the other Tucson victims, without a doubt. I mean, when you hear... A, uh, you know, you get a phone call that the chief of the astronaut office wants to talk to you immediately. You know, you know it's not good news. And uh, and then to get news like that was just shocking, and very uh, sad, and tragic. Uh, 
the highs, uh, you know, it's really like, like how I answered the other question, it's really kind of hard to say uh, because we had, you know, a lot of different uh, variety of, of work with visiting vehicles and, and working on certain systems on the space station. You know, certainly ULF-5 uh, being there was, uh, you know, a lot of fun to have visitors and uh, the HTV work we did was was uh, pretty complex with the robotics and getting it, uh, you know, first birthed and then, you know, partially unloaded and then moved and then moved back. Um, so I, I would say those those two things. Scott Kelly, Expedition 26 Commander, welcome back. Congratulations. Thank you, Rob.